Greetings! So, I believe you guys have been asked this question many times before, or at least once in your lifetime. Where are you from? Where do you come from? This then produces a lot of confusion, as you don't know whether to reply with ethnicity, nationality, or regionality. So are you Bristolian, a Londoner, Anglo-Saxon, Celtic? You could be anything. I'm not just an Asian, I'm an Oriental East Asian acronym of OEA. More specifically, even more, I could be a Hong Kong Chinese, a Hong Kong niece, or China Chinese. So, yeah, Chinese. Well, nobody can be sure of 100% of the heritage, but I believe I'm Chinese. And Cantonese Chinese to be specific, uh, Haga Chinese, there's so many different types. So that's what I identify myself as. More specifically, I am a GBC, German Born Chinese. Or GBA, a German Born Asian. Wait a minute, I am a German Born Oriental East Asian. G B O E A C, Chinese. Even more specific, I am a FOBC, a fresh off the boat Chinese, Bob. Believe it or not, I actually got here by a boat since we um, drove our car and all our belongings so we had to follow. Since I lived here long enough, I could actually have a neutralized British passport, but I can't have dual nationality. Well, I think I got it now. I'm a German British. Chinese, so G, B, C. Well, all together that makes me a G, B, F, O, B, O, E, A, C. Well, I've been living in Bristol for a long so that makes me a Bristolian Chinese. I love using chopstick and having my food. Traditionally, it was forbidden to the marry with someone of the same surname, because you could be related. How are we all distantly and remotely related relatively? Trace back to the root of human being. What is it with people trying to fit in with the society? I mean, why not create your own culture? People like following people, so who knows, they might follow suit. They'd be like, oh, why didn't I think of that before? I mean, there was once a pioneer of culture and everyone just followed suit, right? Still, I think it's important to keep your heritage alive and embrace it, so read your Bibles. Hopefully, this video would have helped you to intensify your identity crisis and identify your identity disorder. So, do you have any identity disorder? Comment below and let me know. Down below. So thumb up the video, like and subscribe and share and I'm gonna go to have some food now.